Hey everyone, in this video here I want to show you how to um, give away a product in your WordPress store using the WP eStore plugin. Now there's several different options. This um, The one I'm going to cover in this video is the manual checkout option. So essentially what happens is um, you provide a product, uh, you give it a zero dollar price tag, and um, you display it on your, your website with an add to cart button. and um, it's set up so that when the user goes to the shopping cart, um, they have the man the manual checkout option is selected, and they go through the process, put in their name and email, and um, they're, they're going to be delivered uh, an email with a link to download the product. That way, you're not sharing the product URL. It's still going to be secure, um, but you're going to be able to provide um, the product for free. Okay, so now um, the first step, of course, is creating the product. Make sure it has a zero dollar price tag. Setting it up on a page with an add to cart button. And there's a couple of configuration settings that have that have to be done. Um, so under WPE Store Settings, click on Payment Gateway Settings, and be sure um, if you're if you do have other options like PayPal, for example. Make sure you set um, use multiple payment gateways. Make sure that's selected, and you might also want to choose this option here so that when when someone does visit the cart, um, if there's zero dollars in there, it's gonna it's gonna choose the manual checkout option automatically rather than default on PayPal or or authorized.net or whatever the other payment options are if there are any and then you scroll down to the manual settings and make sure you, you select use manual payment option and then scroll down and then you'll see another option send product download links and email so select that um, that way they make sure they will when they do get the email after they fill out the form they will uh, to get the download link there, the secure download link. Then scroll over to the bottom, click on update, and once that's set up, um, I set this page up here so that when I click on add to cart, uh, shopping cart will show up above the product, um, providing there's actually something in there. So we'll do that now. And as you can see, the manual checkout option is selected. So we'll click on proceed to checkout. and the customer will be presented with a form that once they fill it out um, the email will arrive with the download information so they can download the product. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.